Robarts Library is a massive brutalist building that finished construction in 1973 and was designed by Mathers in Haldenby. It is the largest of UFT's libraries, thus seeing a great amount of traffic, having some difficulty having enough space during exam season. The building is seen by many as intimidating and ugly. In the interior, there are a multitude of study spaces. Services in the library operate from 8.30 a.m. to 11 p.m., while the first few floors are open 24 hours a day. There is opportunity for collaboration in group study rooms. The interior can give off a claustrophobic feeling, in particular the central atrium which is congested with escalators. The study spaces attempt to mitigate this feeling with large windows and high ceilings in some reading rooms particularly on the first few floors in the Thomas Fisher Rare Book Library, but the isolation between spaces, concrete ceilings, and quality of light give off an unwelcome feeling. The university is trying to fix this by planning a new five-story extension by Diamond Schmidt Architects. It will provide it with a more welcoming atmosphere and more study spaces. The British Library, designed by Colin St. John Wilson, was finished in 1997. The interior of the British Library does a better job of giving a freer and more welcoming quality to the study spaces within it than Robarts. The British Library also experiences a massive amount of traffic being the National Library of England and also housing significant historical artifacts such as the Magna Carta. There are many reading rooms divided up by subjects so that the rooms house the books that the user will need. The study spaces give off a sense of warmth and welcome. This is done by connecting the spaces with a massive stack of books in addition to having floors look into other floors and allowing the atrium to be free, unlike Robarts. The British Library also employs the use of natural light in comparison to Robarts, in which a majority of the light is artificial. Natural light has warmth that artificial lighting often does not, making the spaces more comfortable for people to work in.